Hi lads, this is Fana, a GM Zerg from Australian Pro Team, Vanessa Gray. Recently, someone asked in the comments about what it's like to be a pro gamer. It got buried somewhere, so unfortunately I can't say who asked it, but um, I thought I'd start a, start a vlog about what it's like to be a pro gamer. First of all, I wouldn't label myself a pro, but my team would probably be considered a pro team by the community. But I guess this is the same for a lot of pro players. The support I get from my team, Frenetic Array, is absolutely amazing, and my sponsors, and everything else. But at the same time, it's nowhere near enough to be independent, which is what I'm striving for. Personally, I'd consider myself a wannabe pro. Anyway, let's vlog! I've never done anything like this before, so it's gonna be pretty weird. I want to try and be as transparent as possible, because even though a lot of people try and become pro gamers, not a lot of people actually make it, and then even fewer actually document the journey to becoming a pro gamer. I think that a lot of people don't like talking about their failures, and as a result, you don't get many people documenting their journey as to being a pro gamer. And failures are gonna happen a lot when you're trying to do something like become a pro gamer. It's only natural you go into a slump, or you slack on a week of practice. It doesn't bother me too much, because if you're not failing, you're not learning from your mistakes, you're not growing, you're not getting better. So hopefully through this vlog series I can share my experience with you guys and hopefully some people can take some info from that. So since this is my first vlog ever, I guess I'll talk about where I've come from so far. It was about a year ago that I started taking StarCraft seriously. I was watching the GSL with a friend and um, I said something like, "I." You know, I, I wish I could do what they're doing. I was watching MVP or something. And then she replied like, do it. Around that time, I was on the verge of setting up a business for photography. I hadn't actually started, so I thought before it actually took off the ground or I put it into place, that I would actually just try and give StarCraft a go since this is gonna be the one point in my life where I could actually try something like this before I have actual responsibilities where it would be impossible to commit so much time to a video game. In the first year, I managed to go from Diamond to Low GM. Personally, I'm not satisfied with that. Mostly due to not knowing how much time you actually, time and effort you actually need to put into the game. Over that first year, I've learned a lot about what, what it actually takes to become a top player. You need to commit ridiculous amounts of time, otherwise you have no chance. Which is why, for the first season on NA Ladder this year, I'm trying to play more games than anyone else. If I can't do that, then I probably can't be at the level that I want to be. So far, it's going really well. I've managed to get in the hours that I wanted to put in, and also get some exercise every day, and also create some YouTube content for you guys every day. Ah, YouTube content. Let's talk about that. So since I said I'm gonna be completely transparent, I am using the YouTube channel as a way to increase exposure for myself, my team, my sponsors, and also to create a little bit of revenue, which is basically nothing right now. That said, I do really help uh, enjoy helping people out. It provides me with a lot of sac uh, satisfaction when someone says they've received a league promotion thanks to my help, or you know, if they've just helped them out or whatever. It's really nice to get that feedback. It's just, I just really enjoy it. I think if I wasn't committed so heavily to getting good in SC2, then I'd be trying to help people out a lot more. I really, really enjoy it. So what does my day look like as a pro gamer? Right now, I have a bunch of things that I try to get done every day, and I try to stick to a very light schedule. I don't stick to it completely, but I try and, you know, stay around those times. Every day, I try to get at least eight hours of practice in. I also try to get a bit of exercise in around 30 minutes, and I also try to create at least one YouTube video. My schedule is something like, but not set in stone, wake up at 10am and then do uh, check everything out, like social stuff, Facebook, uh, Skype, Twitter, StarCraft Reddit, Team Look at, you know, StarCraft News and things like that for an hour. And then after that hour I practice StarCraft for 4 hours, then after that 4 hours is up, I go do some exercise, like I just go for a walk because I don't really like running. Walking really cleans, uh, clears my mind as well, I, I, I quite enjoy walking. And then after the walk I get a shower, I get some lunch, and then I go back into 4 hours of uh, StarCraft practice, and about this time is about 9pm. Then I, I, I spend like 1 or 2 hours catching up with friends, 
And then after that, I try and make a YouTube video, and then the time usually ends up being about 2 a.m., which is just about time for my bed. So yeah, I go to bed about 2 a.m. and then get up at 10 a.m. Sometimes it goes a bit later because I have a lot of problems with the video it's editing software. I'm still a noob at video editing, so it takes a lot longer than it probably should. Anyway, I'm not sure what else to add since this is my first vlog. If you have anything you would like to know, then post it in the comments and I'll get around to it next vlog. Thanks for the support, guys. I really appreciate it.